Okay, fair enough. So let's go back to the beginning of what he said. Are we better today? Probably not. Let's take the probably out of that statement, shall we? Right. Not only have they now traded away the most productive receiver in the NFL over the last four years, mm -hmm. they have also lost Gabe Davis, who was their other wide receiver. Their defense, they've lost starters Trey White, Jordan Poyer, and Leonard Floyd. This has become a complete disaster, and here we go. November will roll around. The Jets or someone else will be winning that division. Buffalo will be having a disappointing season, and do you know what the conversation will be here on Get Up and on First Take right after us and everybody else. What's wrong with Josh Allen? Oh, Josh Allen, he's terrible now. Look, he's supposed to be a top-level quarterback and we can't even win games and all. This is going to come down on Josh Allen. We keep taking things. It's, it's like they just keep taking things away from him oh. and expecting more from him. They after, that's after they gave him everything, Greeny. Well, and, and he they got gave him everything and he, he, got, he got worse. D. Wood, why are you making that face? Because D would is sick and tired. Of what? Of you. God, listen, man, we, we, listen, outside of Dak Prescott, we talk about Josh Allen more than any other quarterback in the national Because football. he is unfairly maligned. He, he, no, we, listen, we give Josh Allen his due. Like, Josh Allen's a baller. He's a, he's a playmaker. There's no question about that. But, but there's always a but. There's always I, a but with Josh Allen. I mean. He ain't getting it done, Green. Josh Allen has had all of these players. He's had top, a top-notch defense. He's had Stephon Diggs. He's Gabe had Davis. all these Gabe Diggs. He's had Knox. all these guys. And what has it amounted? What has it amounted to? Has Josh Allen been in a Super Bowl? He has not. Has Josh, has Josh Allen won an MVP? It's, he has not. I need, like to me, Josh, Josh Allen's a top three quarterback in the National Football League. Okay. Now with Stephon Diggs moving on, we about to see. We about to see if Josh Allen is truly that franchise guy that can that can truly put a franchise on on his back. We are about to see, my friend. There's no question about it. I'm just listening to D. You know Wood. Who agrees with me? If you tell me Dan Orlovsky, that you two can stand on that ledge together by yourself. I got I, a text that, from Orlovsky. Of course, we talked did. about this of earlier. Of course, he did. And my guy Dan came to my defense. Of course he he did. sent me two very simple words. You're correct. And indeed, I am. You know, geniuses like Dan and I, we, we, that, you know okay. what? we will weather the slings okay. and arrows of all of this nonsense. Okay. Kmart, yes. you know it better than anybody. Yes. You know Josh Allen better than anybody. You were a columnist in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. You walked off the field with 13 seconds left in a game against Patrick Mahomes, having outplayed him and beaten him. And his team gave that game away. Literally just said, we don't want it. You take it. And from that moment forward, everything has gone in the wrong direction. And he gets all the blame mm. for it. Really? But all he I does is be I... the best player on the field. I every think game that you play. push me to the edge like this Go. because this is not this is not an issue that I have with Josh <laughs> Allen. This is just an it, this is the the reality of being a top tier quarterback making top tier money. Right. Yes. So when you have Lamar Jackson in the playoffs, when you have Lamar Jackson and this this offensive coordinator Todd Munglin decides, hey, the thing that got us here, we're not going to do that. Oh no no no. We can say what happened there? How did they fall off? Except it's on Lamar Jackson. When uh, Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars are disappointing, it, we're looking at Trevor Lawrence like, what's going on with you? When we look at Joe Burrow, it's like, okay, hey, you got paid. Now whether T. Higgins remains on the team or not, you got to get it done. Nice All of the that, all of these quarterbacks that get Jalen Hurts, we don't want to hear any excuses from, from the Eagle. It, the expectation is winning a Super Bowl. Just because Josh Allen is Josh Allen and he's in Buffalo, I'm sorry. The rules don't change. So I get it that you and Dan think that we're being unfair. It's not about fairness. It's if you are eating up most of the pie, most of the responsibility now falls on you. Is that fair? No, but life is not fair, baby. That is reality. Harry, go. Yeah, I said this about Jalen Hurts when he got his money. Listen, when you get compensated the way you do, you're supposed to make up for deficiencies. But I think it's also we got to put this thing into context. Joe Brady is going to be a part of this, right? His offensive mm -hmm. coordinator. And I don't believe you make this move if you're Brandon Beam, if you're Sean McDermott, if you don't believe that Joe Brady can help his quarterback out with Josh Allen. We've seen that this football team is in an identity shift. Right? We've seen it when Joe Brady took over as the offensive coordinator. So, uh, is it going to be different? They don't have a number one wide receiver right now. I believe they're going to draft one or draft multiple wide receivers coming up in the 2024 NFL draft. But I just feel like moving forward, this team is going to run the football a lot more, in which when Joe Brady took over, they did 10 more rushing attempts and 40 more rushing yards than they did previously. And mm -hmm. I think that's the makeup of the Buffalo Bills moving forward. I mean, you talk about the identity, right? And we saw the shift, and you brought up uh, Baltimore, right? Remember, like, 
Lamar Jackson won an MVP in mm -hmm. two different types of systems, but they had to recognize that this isn't sustainable. And the way that they put everything on Josh Allen isn't sustainable. His health, his turnovers all spiked up when he's trying to be the number one rusher, playmaker, and have to, to under the pressure to make all those plays. When you, what you saw under Joe Brady was a more efficient um, Josh Allen, who leaned on the run, and James Cook became a big part of the system. It mm -hmm. protected them. It helped them um, protect their defense. And so now they're making an identity change, and they have to recognize that with Stephon Diggs and the way they were playing, it was the law of diminishing returns because you started off in that, in that game with Kansas City. But since then, it's going the other way. It has. They've come up one game shorter every time. Mm -hmm. You talk about how he outplayed Patrick Mahomes, but you didn't recognize and say that he got outplayed by Joe Burrow in his house. And this was supposed to be the year – in which he was supposed to be able to beat Patrick Mahomes because he had home field advantage, and that was going to be the difference. And they came up short. So sometimes you have to recognize that maybe this, this group has topped out. 